So with the new event coming up, you're going to have to grind 40,000 mission points every two days to get the uh, eight market distinctions to get a copy-paste Jaguar. Yay. But if you want a free uh, top tier, um, I recommend doing Sim. It is the easiest. You can do like two to three games. It'll take maybe like an hour and a half, two hours, and you'll have your distinction. So uh, it doesn't matter what country you play with. Um, I prefer playing the F-16C is really fun because you have a lot of visibility and a pretty good armament with the A9Ms and you have some ground pound armaments and the F-15A because you have a ton of uh, fuel and a ton of missiles so these are two great planes the F-14s aren't really meta anymore in Sin. Probably my favorite though for grinding is the SU-27 and I don't need to explain why this is OP uh, this is the loadout I run And you have pretty okay visibility. It's like every Russian jet. Your visibility is kind of cut off by a seat. Um, you only get 40 minutes of fuel in this thing with no drop tanks. So I don't recommend after burning the whole time. But I mean, you're crushing any dogfight. And you can launch those R-73s off at anybody. So uh, this is probably the best grinder. Because you don't have to land as frequently for missiles and stuff. Um... I would be careful though in gunfights because you are a pretty big target. Just a quick rundown on how to uh, actually play sim. You go to events and tournaments, you go to air simulator battles, and you click room list. And uh, there's only one game going right now, which isn't surprising. This is kind of a weird time to be playing. Sorry if you guys hear beeping. I have like construction happening next to me. Um, so there's only a 12.0 to 12.7 game, but that's perfect. You know, you would just hit take part and it's gonna put you in the game so you'll see you have um, this it'll say it'll cost you 15 SL to spawn in um, pick one of your runways you want to spawn in and your loadout and that's pretty much it so if you're familiar with my controls video um, the pitch and yaw you know for uh, like this is like an activate key basically for this uh, you're gonna want to turn this off because uh, otherwise you're not gonna be able to steer your plane so take those off and um, also, if you added any multipliers, I recommend turning those back down to uh, around one. Uh, a good thing to know is this key, where is it? If you go into full real controls, there's this thing called toggle SAS mode. This is a game changer. So you're going to hit this. Uh, you kind of fly all over the runway, and, you know, if you barely touch your stick, you're going to, you know, eat it into the ground like this, it, like this now. If you activate damping, it flies perfectly straight. So this only works on fly-by-wire aircraft, so SU-27, MiG-29, F-16s, F-15s. And I think the F-14 have has it, even though it shouldn't in real life. So this is a good, um, you know, uh, good stabilizer function. If you're in a dogfight and you're trying to pull the maximum amount of AOA, you can put it back on manual, but you can see you're going to bleed your speed insanely fast. Um, but yeah, you can pull tons of AOA by doing this, but you can see you're going to stall pretty quick. Um, so I recommend keeping on damping. Automatic leveling is not that useful. I mean, it's like in... I'm not touching the controller right now, but you can see... Yeah, you know, get a little bit of thrust so it can do its thing. But, you know, it'll... Put your uh, put your radical on the horizon. And you'll just fly straight, and you can't really steer with this on. So I recommend using damping the whole time. 
Um, automatic leveling is not that useful. I don't use it that much. I'm sure you're aware, but um, you, to make sure you don't shoot your teammates, your radar will put a line over your teammates, so you won't be able to shoot them, uh, and you obviously won't be able to lock them with your regular uh, lock button. You will be able to lock them with ACM, but you can't lock them with uh, you know your regular lock. Um, so there's a couple ways to go about grinding mission points effectively. Um, my favorite is you know just doing your air to air. I like to get to like. 20 ish thousand feet and just rain ERs and ETs on people. Or you can do uh, some CAS. Not really CAS, just base bombing gives you a lot of points. The problem with base bombing is the anti air and sim are absolutely cracked. Like, they just do not miss. Like, um, you guys remember there was like a weird time when uh, all the CAS were like stupid good in ARB. It's like that, but just worse. These guys just don't miss. So I don't recommend base bombing. You're going to get killed a lot. Another thing is airfields, uh, trying to destroy airfields. A lot of people will load up phantoms with rockets and just try to annihilate runways. You can do that. I just prefer doing air to air. You get like maybe 12 kills a game, and I mean, it'll take you one to two games. And uh, yeah, it, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, you know, find a plane, it's got some pretty decent uh, fuel and armament, um, maybe some good visibility. Like I said, the F-16 is good. The only problem with the F-16 is you run out of missiles kind of fast. Um, but other than that, uh, I think that's pretty much it. If you want to hear a couple more things about Sim, um, you can check out my last event video I have here. And uh, I'll put a link for that down in the description. Happy grinding and... Uh, I'll see you next time.